Yo, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video. And in today's video guys, we're going to be going over the top 5 or so PvP debuffers in Destiny Child Global. So yeah guys, I'll be informing you on who to uncap, who to basically put in your HOR, and who would you want to actually build up in this game besides building up, let's say, a random debuffer that has no use in world boss, dragon break, or pvp, etc. Now, as I said, this mainly goes for the pvp tier list, and they can be niche in other aspects of the game, but in general, all of these debuffers are fairly pretty good across all events. So yeah guys, let's get started here with number 6 actually, because they are equal to actually two other of the debuffers here. Alright guys, so coming in at number 6 here is Demeter the Fire debuffer under PvP rank for Rice Mine, she's rated a 9, for PvE a 8, Ragnarok 6, and World Boss a 6. Her leader skill is defense minus 15% for wood type enemies, her auto deals 101 auto attack damage to the target, her tap skill deals 387 damage and has a 75% chance to remove one buff. Her slide skill deals 644 damage to two enemies, party lowest HP, inflict venom, deal 200 damage over time every 2 seconds, and recovery amount, heal, regen, minus 50%, unable to cut or extend debuff for 10 seconds long. Drive skill deals 1967 damage to three enemies, party enemies with venom, defense minus 30% for 16 seconds long and a 90% chance to inflict Venom Amplifier increases damage over time. Damage of Venom further decreases recovery amount for 16 seconds long. Notes here on Rice Mine, Venom deals 904 damage at plus 6. Although the duration of Venom can't, can't be cut or extended, it can be st still can be cleansed by childs like Irado, Besset, and Nubi Mona. Bathory's leader skill helps counter Dem Demeter's Venom, and Venom doesn't stack with itself. Coming in at number 5 here, we have the Dark Debuffer Rita. Her PvP ranking on Rice Man is a 9, for PvP an 8, Ragnar Break 4, and World Boss a 6. Her leader skill is Debuff Evasion minus 10% for all enemies. Her auto deals 101 attack damage to the target. Her tap skill deals 387 damage to one enemy, highest attack, attack minus 15% for 10 seconds long. Her slide skill deals 644 damage to two enemies, party lowest HP, and has a 70% chance to inflict death heal, a mount recovered by target is converted to the same, to same amount of damage except for certain effects for 14 seconds long, and skill gauge minus 35%. Her drive skill deals 1968 damage to 3 random enemies, inflict necrosis 500 damage over time every 2 seconds, unable to cut or extend debuff for 14 seconds long. Her no tier on Rice Mine consists of great against current meta teams in PvP running healers. Her death heal also works well for level 4 rebirth labyrinth preventing Aurora's healing and bypassing Diablo's taunt. Coming in at number 4 here, we have Moa the Light type debuffer. Her PvP ranking on Rice Mine is currently a 9, PvE a 7, Ragnar Break a 3, and World Boss a 4. Her leader skill is Dark Enemy Debuff Evasion Rate minus 10%. Her auto deals 100 damage. Her tap skill deals 381 damage to target and debuff evasion rate minus 10% for 8 seconds long. Her slide skill deals 595 damage to 2 enemies with the highest attack and has a 70% chance to petrify, unable to act for 10 seconds long or after being attacked 2 times. Her drive skill deals 2096 damage to 2 random enemies and has a 90% chance to petrify, unable to act for 15 seconds long or after being hit 3 times. Notes here, her slide provides consistent CC to the same two highest attack enemies, making her one of the best PvP debuffers. Great with stall or damage over time teams, as damage over time does, 
doesn't take off petrified stacks. Coming in at number 3 here we have the fire debuffer Lemos. Her PvP ranking is currently a 10 on Rice Mine, PvE a 6, Ragnarok a 5, and World Boss a 7. Her leader skill is defense minus 15% for all enemies. Her auto attack deals 102 damage. Her tap skill deals 396 damage and has a 60% chance to buff steel, move one buff from target to self. Her slide skill deals 677 damage to two enemies, priority highest defense, and has a 75% chance to inflict attack defense switch, swaps attack and defense stats for 20 seconds long, and has a 75% chance to inflict confuse for 10 seconds. Her drive skill deals 2039 damage to 3 enemies, priority buffed, has a 70% chance to buff steal, move 1 buff from target to self, and skill gauze charge amount minus 35% for 16 seconds along. Her notes here on rice mine are ability, the ability to confuse 2 childs is really powerful in PvP as it makes the fight temporarily into a 7v3. With her targeting highest defense before facing her, make sure to manipulate your team's stats so that her confuse will land on the least impactful child, ideally both before and after the attack defense switch. Drive gauge can still be gained as normal while confused. Tap skills to 2583 damage and has a 80.1% chance at plus 6. Slide skill scales to 3,998 damage and has a 90.2% chance for both debuffs at plus 6. Coming in at number 2 here we have the water element debuffer Isolid. Her PvP ranking is currently a 10, PvE an 8, Ragnarok a 5, and World Boss a 5. Her leader skill is attack minus 15% for fire type enemies. Her auto attack deals 101 attack damage. Her tap skill deals 387 damage and has a 60% chance to inflict freeze. Skill gauge charge speed, charge amount decrease and damage over time debuff damage increased for 8 seconds long. Her slide skill deals 645 damage to 2 enemies, priority highest attack. Skill gauge charge speed minus 20% for 14 seconds long and inflict water balloon deal 300 damage upon being attacked, skill gauge reset if attacked 2 times or 10 seconds pass. Her drive skill deals 1968 damage to, to, to 3 enemies, priority healer, 90% chance to inflict freeze, skill gauge charge speed, charge amount decreased and damage over time debuff damage increased for 16 seconds long. No tier, water balloons damage is pure damage, will hit for the same amount set on the skill. Freeze increases damage over time by around 15%. She has a chance to apply debuff for her slide isn't tied to skill level, so low uncaps can also work. Higher uncaps will increase damage and slow effectiveness. Alright guys, so of course coming in at number 1 here we have the Grass Debuffer Bathory. Her current PvP ranking is a 10, her PvE ranking is a 10, her Ragna Break ranking is a 9, and her world boss is of course a 10. Overall she's an amazing unit, you can see her across the board, she's just necessary currently. Her leader skill is drive skill final blow minus 25% for all enemies during PvP, damage over time minus 50%, auto deals 102 auto attack damage. Her tap skill deals 398 damage to one enemy, priority most buffs, debuff evasion minus 10% for 20 seconds long, defense minus 10% for 8 seconds long. Her slide skill deals 690 damage to two enemies, priority lowest HP, inflict dancing blade, defense minus 20% and 200 damage over time every 2 seconds for 14 seconds long as well as defense minus 700. Her drive skill deals 2065 damage to 3 enemies, priority most buffs, inflict brand, deals number of buffs on target plus 1 times 250 damage over time every 4 seconds, max of 6 buffs, final multiplier of 7 for 20 seconds long. Notes here, a must have in current PvP meta due to her leader ability, 
defense debuff and slide can allow child such as Jupiter to target the same enemies. Both the damage over time and defense minus 20% part of the anti blade can stack. Great for level 4 rebirth labyrinth as well. Alright guys, so those are the currently top 6 debuffers for PvP as of right now. As of course, we will receive many debuffers later on and I will be sure to up update this top 5 list in the future if it does change. But yeah guys, that is currently the top 5, the top 6 debuffers for Devil Rumble. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did and haven't already feel free to leave a like on the video and comment as well on who is your favorite debuffer out of these six units as well as maybe subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and you're enjoying the Destiny Child content. Now, I'll see you guys in the next video which will be tomorrow of course. Thank you for watching and take care guys.